So this homeschool room tour is kind of um, different in the sense that like we don't necessarily have a homeschool room yet. And so you will see that we house um, school just in different places in our home. Let me show you. Alrighty, so the first thing I've got is in this closet in my basement, we've got all of our homeschool supplies. And I've got it in a way where the things that I wanna keep the smaller kids away from are higher <laughs> and the things that are a little bit lower are things that I don't necessarily, I don't want them to get into, but it wouldn't like destroy my house. So up here, we've got dry erase markers, pens, um, markers and um, a bunch of highlighters. Then we've got dice, scissors, um, extra dry erasers and um, bookmarks like for, to help them read. Like when you read, you can highlight the bookmarks and rulers. Um, those are from the dollar store. They're actually really great for new readers. Uh, over here, we've got pencils, and this is just a, like a hodgepodge of different things. Like we've got rings and um, paper fasteners and stuff like that. Over here, I've got glue. This is in the wrong spot. It should be here with all the tape. So I have different color tape, double-sided sticky tape, regular tape. All the tapes are here. Down here, we've got um, command hooks and these markers are down here because they can't fit up here, but they can't stay down here for long. I gotta um, maybe take them out of the box and just slice, put them up there because little kids get to markers, it's gonna be over. Um, in here, we've got popsicle sticks and um, rubber bands and these like um, erasers that I use for like, um, uh, fine motor skills and things like that during the holidays and let's see what else I think I've got what do you call these clothes pins in here as well down here we've got our bigger things that don't quite fit in these and that is our pom-poms also for fine motor skills and some index cards some extra command hooks which should be up here and some glue for our hot glue gun. And that's our school supplies. All right, so this is our bookshelf type thing. This is the um, kids bookshelf and like the curriculum bookshelf. I have one upstairs for my books, but when it comes to school, things are usually housed here. Now, they're separated into different categories, which you can see right here. Um, they do not necessarily, the little ones don't necessarily follow the categories, but my older ones do, and they're able to help the little ones. So starting up here, we've got Bible, and this is all like our Bible stuff. Over here, I've got sunlight, all of our sunlight for this year. My father's world. So anything that's not on our cart is on here, ready for us to use. And then I've got African-American history plus some borrowed items. I don't like to leave the bottom borrowed items down low because I don't want our kiddos to get to them. So I had borrowed a bunch of books from a friend of mine. And so I put them up here so they can be safe. Over here, we have got um, all of our Matthew C things that we utilize as well as CLE teacher's guides. Over here, we've got more curriculum for this year. So my kids, this is the rest of their CLE light units that they're not currently working on. I have an extra God's design in here, um, the teacher's manuals for CLE, and just a bunch of like um, our Christian-like education kindergarten units that we're not currently using. So if we're not currently using, the overflow goes here, and that's exactly what it's called, overflow. Over here, we've got chapter books. So we've got a collection of series and I have a whole video going over all the series that we have. I will um, link it for you guys if you wanna check it out. But these are our chapter books. These are our imagination station, which we've got all of the imagination stations. Over here, we've got more chapter books. We've got a lot of chapter books. <laughs> over here, we've got 
the good and the beautiful books we've got like a bunch of levels from like 1a or from beginner book box set all the way to level seven books of the good and the beautiful this is not the good and the beautiful it's definitely in the wrong spot um over here we've got encyclopedias just a bunch of different encyclopedias over here we have got history things and um just a collection of like african-american history things and then some overflow things with like um different curriculum and things like that that we're not currently using down here we've got more bible character study type books then we've got read alouds that we have enjoyed in the past and um a lot of times the kiddos want to read through them again let's see this is just one random coloring book i leave down here pretty much open <laughs> um it's easily accessible to my little ones so i'd rather just not put anything there and there's nothing wrong with empty shelves just more things to fill up with books right over here i've got bob books down here we've got children's books and so these are the books that our little ones will grab and ask us to read to them and things like that so we've got all of the children's books down here as well as the board books right here and more chapter books up here more series and more chapter books over here so that is our bookshelf all right this is our cart i have a whole video talking about our morning um basket and that's pretty much what's up here on the top of the cart is our morning basket things um one section that was not talked about in the video is over here which is our um spelling power is in here and that's our spelling for this year as well as our um we've got the bible story which we are studying um one day a week with one day a week we don't do who is god and we do the bible story we do one lesson from here and just really understanding the history of where the bible came from this is actually one of my very good friends um created this um curriculum and that's rachel and um i will definitely have it linked in the description it is so good and it just really walks children through where the bible came from and i think that that's super important to know what you believe and why you believe it and the history behind it all right so like i said i have a video talking about everything that's up here so i'll link i'll put it right here in the cards but down here i have got our like teacher's manual type section but more specifically per student so over here i have my son's things my oldest um that things that i work with him with or things that are just used with our time together like he likes to read the story of the world even though we have the cd and we play the cd he likes to read alongside it so i have it in there for him he has readers that he's reading for sunlight and this is the guide to let me know what questions to ask in the middle over here, I have my the things that me and my daughter do together, which is one of them is IEW, um, our read alouds that we do together, and we do Christian Liberty Nature Reader together. Here I have all the curriculum things that I do with my kindergartner because everything he does is pretty much with me or with one of his siblings. And then this is the rest of his things that we do together, which is, um, what your kindergartner needs to know, um, the burn stealing bears, and then come and then a Becca social studies. And down here is actually a binder that houses um, the readers for my level three sunlight um, for my daughter, my third grader. Down here we have a basket because this is kind of like my desk, pretty much my portable desk, and so. Everything that we do group work um, is is on this cart. We have a CD player here, Boombox, um, to play our story of the world and our we sing um, for sunlight. So anyways, in here, 
I have my over, well, this is my two-year-old school supplies. This is my um, kindergartner school supplies. And then this is my extra school supplies for myself. This is part of the kindergarten unit that he's doing. But the important thing in here is the fidgets. And so there's a lot of reading um, associated with our group work and a lot of times where I want, you know, busy hands, quiet mouths. And so I have just a bunch of different fidgets in here for them to play with quietly while um, something is playing on the CD player or I am reading. And so I have that easily accessible as well as all the supplies that they would need when we are together. Now, under here, we have, um, we do a couple of days a week. We do road schooling or schooling in the car. And so I have clipboards that they grab to go and leave with. Um, I have a marker board, which I utilize with my daughters, The Good and the Beautiful. Lessons a lot. Um, even my even my kindergartner, when we're doing CVC words, which is consonant, vowel, consonant words, I'll use, I'll whip out the marker board a lot. Um, and then I have sketch pads. And I have these sketch pads for the same reason that I have the, the fidgets, and that is to pretty much, you know, busy hands, quiet mouths. And, um, our world map that we utilize with my father's world you know as we read about the different explorers and different things like that we find them on the map and so that's what's on my cart currently now inside of our locked closet it is not perfect but it is locked. This closet is filled with things that we just don't want our kids to get into because it would be a big old mess. And so it is, I, I need to organize it. So this is the reality behind things, y'all. It's not perfect, but anyways. Um, up here, we have the children's free play toys. If you'd like to see a video on how I, they play with one different thing a day and it's not the same thing every single day um like mondays they'll have trains tuesdays they'll have construction stuff wednesday they'll have legos you know different things like that so it's like it's on rotation um over here we have extra empty boxes because one day they'll just like i collect empty boxes and bottles and things like that where they'll just cut them and create things and stuff like that. I'll bring out the mat and the pillows and the stuff and they'll make little tents and different things like that. And so I keep all that in here, along with all of our sensory things. The lighting is not great. There is no light in this closet, but like in here we have the sand, the kinetic sand and like little beads and marbles and, um, they'll play with rocks one day and things like that so and there's like a bin of paints in here um that they have and so this is the things the messy things that I kind of have to keep locked up and keep under control um we have a whole roll of paper where we'll roll out a whole paper and we'll tell them decorate the whole paper you know and stuff like that so I keep it locked up so that it can stay somewhat organized but at the same time um, it is available for them to play with one day a week. Okay, so I really want to show you guys their desk. It's not pretty, <laughs> but they color all over it and stuff. But this is their sensory desk. And the things that I showed you in the closet that are sensory based, like the rocks and the marbles and things. So every night I change it out and I dump one in here. And in here. And... um then they, I put this out on the patio and then they come and they discover what's the new sensory thing for the day and they play with it. So just wanted to show you their desk. I think it's a really good investment. <laughs> All right, this is my daughter's desk inside of her room. She put a pillow on her chair so she's a little more comfortable, but on her desk, she's got her curriculum that she um, uses to get her schoolwork done her editor-in-chief, all the things that she needs to do her schoolwork. Her math is not currently here, but this is where she houses her curriculum. 
And um, she's got her devotional up here with her Bible and her school supplies are up because her little sister will decorate this room. As you can see, we'll decorate this room if her school supplies are not up and all her things are organized in here. And this is where she goes to work independently. This is my son's room, very similar setup, except he requires like more room to work and he listens to music while he works. So he puts um, his curriculum on the floor right here, right next to his desk. And um, up here, he has all of his books, his, re his readers that he's reading for this month. His school supplies are in there. And this is his not consumed devotional that he does every single day. And so that's up there. And um, he's got a board here for his um, work that he wants to showcase, just like his sister. The rulers are kept up, everything. Pretty much just duplicate of the other side. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope it gave you some ideas. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. And until next time, bye.